At NASA Ames Research Center, they're trying to answer the question, how tough are aliens? Lynn Rothschild is using synthetic biology to look for alien life in places that until recently had never been considered. We do know that life on the Earth can live in unbelievable environmental extremes. At very high temperatures, low temperatures, in boiling water, in fact, in boiling battery acid. And so this gives us an idea of where life could live elsewhere. But maybe life could live beyond these extremes, and we just haven't found those organisms on the Earth, or maybe evolution just hasn't gotten around to them yet. And so that's where synthetic biology can come in. Synthetic biology is, is really a, a new field of looking at biology. What we're able to do is take life and perhaps speed up evolution, perhaps mix and match in, in ways that evolution never actually got around to, as a way to test what the potential limits are for life. And that way, if we go to some planet and we discover a pond of boiling battery acid, we don't say, well, that's a non-starter. We say, well, is there a place on Earth where there are organisms living in boiling battery acid? And say, well, yeah, Yellowstone National Park. And so then we know that it's at least possible for life to live under those conditions. But now with synthetic biology, we can say, well, gee, if it doesn't exist, I wonder if we can make it. And if we can make something that lives in even greater extremes, that expands where we can look for life elsewhere.